Hello Crafted Shutter Watchers and welcome to another great video on adding sound effects in your timeline in DaVinci Resolve and I am on the edit page. And um, I want you to know that I've, I've been testing some sound effects just so I could run through this tutorial. And when you pick sound effects out of your sound library, it will put them in your uh, a media pool, which is I think really, really nice in case you want to duplicate the sounds over again. So we have a little timeline here, some clips that I shot, some B-roll for stock footage with, with firefighters at, at night. And, uh, you know, I love shooting at the local fire department, so I'm going to show you how to quickly add in some sound effects. And, and no, I'm not going to, you know, get into the exact fine-tuning of that. I'm just showing you how to work it through. Now you can get a free, um, I'll link it below, but you can get a free library of sound effects from Adobe. And I have mine linked to a local database here. And so I already have it all set up. And if you download that whole library, it takes a little while to download, then sync it up to your software, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna type in fire and it's all searchable. So you know that that, that library has all sound effects that are searchable. And uh, let's see. ENT is en route. ENT, all engines respond. That sounds fun. So let's go ahead and drag that into my timeline. And I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. And we'll start. All engines respond. And let's start then with the burning sound, uh, fire. Just for fun, we have a nice burning sound here. And let's see, I don't want all of it, so we'll type in I. And we'll go, oh, maybe to here and go out. And then we're going to drag this clip. I put an I and an O, just like I did for an, a video track. Click and hold and drag this clip right here. And you can see that it's still a little bit too long for um, my timeline. So let's uh, squeeze that down here to here and turn it up a little bit so we can hear it. That little transponder beeping thing would be a great sound effect too. Um, I haven't searched and narrowed that down, but that's a good sound effect. And I'm just showing you how to use this library, okay? And uh, let's just see, let's do on here, let's... Let's do some like metal noises. And this one looks good right here. Somebody crawling around. I'm gonna drag that. I'm gonna put it here. And that's gonna be good. I'm gonna reduce the sound of that. All right, let's do some fire engine. Um, let's do a fire truck. Fire truck sound. Let's see. We don't want an air horn. Ambience, close perspective. That looks good to me. And let's add in another voice for fun. Emergency horn. We don't want that. I did like the voices. They were kind of fun. So let's back up to fire. And see what else we could add in here. Nice fire extinguisher spray. Oh, that's a nice crawl one. Let's add that one into here. And I'm going to shorten that up to there. All right. And I don't know if we have any other voices when you want to use. Emergency female. All engines respond. ENT is in route. ENT is in route. Let's try that one about right there and turn that down. We'll come and trim this up here. <clears throat> Actually, it's pretty long here. So let's just grab the blade tool, click right here, hit A for error tool, click on that, hit delete. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we have here. And again, this is just showing you me working back and forth. I'm not highly fine tuning this in any way, but how you can easily add sound effects, especially if you have a sound library set up. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. And you know, believe it or not, just these few little sound effects clips and the audio is not balanced correctly here. I'm just doing that so you could hear them while I was editing. They should be a little bit more in the background, obviously. But um, that just gives you an idea how you can, you know, beef up your, your productions without too much work and you can have fun with it in adding sound effects. Uh, you can go to Fairlight over here. You can do the same thing. And um, you can pick a track. You have to have a track picked where you want to drop a sound effect. So um, I'm going to run back here. So if I want to add a sound effect here, I'm just showing you real quick. Uh, I already have it open here. So let's say F-I-R-E. Same thing here. Now the only thing that you can do here different is you can... Um, you can audition it and it'll drop it down right there in front. And you can then, you know, go over here. All right. And then you can say if you want to confirm or delete it. And so, you know, we can say uh, cancel and that'll take it away. So on addition, you can confirm uh, and, and Fairlight, you can confirm it or you can delete it and you can work that way as well. And um, you can also loop the playback if you want to listen to it over and over. Uh, the only thing you got to pay, pay attention to is if a track is not highlighted where you want to drop the uh, addition, it, you won't see anything. So you have to have a track highlighted in order to do that feature. So you can also do that in Fairlight and work that way. And uh, yeah, there's a few more tools here to play with. So other than that, I hope that you found this useful and again I didn't I didn't teach you how to make amazing sound effects I taught you how to add them into a timeline and to tweak them how you want them to sound is what matters most. Hey, I hope you enjoy this channel. I hope you hit subscribe button. I hope that you uh, enjoy this channel. Thanks for your patience with me. I'm going to point out again that I am teaching you as I am going along because this is how I learn. And I figured that if I'm going to learn how to use the DaVinci Resolve, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, just throw it up when I start learning stuff and literally just teach you as I'm learning. I think there's some value in that where you can see that I'm learning as I'm going. So I hope you find this useful. Go ahead and subscribe and we will see you in the next video.